In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine AI Power Grid. I'm going to be showing you how to set this up on HiveOS and Windows. If we take a look over onto hashrate.no, we can actually see that AIPG is the highest profitable GPU coin to mine on at the moment. It's currently running on Core Power Algorithm, and this is the second cryptocurrency within the past fortnight to have AI in its name and be the top GPU coin to mine. So make sure you do your own financial research when you are setting yourself up on this. But in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to set this up for yourself. So if we take ourselves back over to their main website, you can see that they have an option there for the wallet now you can mine this to a exchange i will leave the exchanges for yourselves down in the description but for now we're going to download this onto our windows so if we click on the download button this starts to download as a zip file and from there we can extract that and install that from there once the wallet has downloaded you need to extract this from the zip file so drag and drop to your desktop and then from here we're going to open up the file we're going to go to the bin location and we're going to find the AIPG QT. And this is what we're going to need to run so that we can set and install this up onto our system. So depending on where you want to install this for myself, I'm just going to use a custom uh, directory and I'm going to save that into my backup hard drive that I have for this. So for me, I'm just going to select the wallet and the folder and paste that into there and then I'm going to press on OK. And from here, all we're going to need to do is just allow this some time to install itself and then also give it some time to sync up to the blockchain and get itself up to date. You'll also be asked to either import your wallet if you already have a seed phrase for it or it will give you the option to generate one. So make sure that you populate this with as you should. So if you don't have one, press on the generate and if you do have one, sit in there and press on the import button. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with a wallet that looks something like this where it starts to sync up to the blockchain as you can see here it's got about three weeks behind and when it started it was around about 26 weeks so let's press on the hide on there let's go to the receive tab and let's pop in there a label let's say mining and pe press on the request payment from here this will be our address that we're going to use for the setting up for a mining so from here let me show you guys how to set this up on windows and then after that i'll show you guys how to set this up on hive os Okay, so now that we have our wallet address, let's take ourselves over to Mining Pool Stats. We can pick a pool from here. We can also have a little look over some information as well about the cryptocurrency, and we can see exactly what's going on. So you can see that the price itself over within the past 24 hours has at least had a 108% increase, which is really, really good. It's had a really, really high 24-hour trading volume, as you can see there. And then also as well, if you scroll down, we can actually see the hash rate history as well within the past week or so. So you can see that it's absolutely flown up there, and there's quite a lot of people jumping on there at the moment now there is a few exchanges there is exeget that you can use and then there is non kyc i'll leave the links for you guys down in the description but as you can see there for exeget there's been over a million in trade in volume within the past 24 hours which is absolutely amazing so like i say you can't complain at that that means that there's at least some trading going on there so like i say if you're going to use any exchange i'd probably recommend the exeget as i say you know it's got the most trading volume on there so it's probably the most trustworthy to use but like i say when it comes to picking the pool you can pick any pool of your choice but as i say for today's video i'm going to be using our plant as i do trust that pool so if we take ourselves over to the connect section and we do have the wallet address that we had from before we're going to choose the miner of choice so for the sake of today's video we're going to use wild rig multi and we're going to be using this on windows i'm in europe so i'm going to pop on the europe section there i'm going to be using a 1390 to mine this so i'm going to set that up just like that if you would like to mine solo you tick on the solo there and the password would be coming m equals solo but for the sake of this today we're not going to be doing anything like that so let's take ourselves over to the miner that we can get so for the miner we're going to be using the wild rig multi and we'll need to download that on there for the windows version we're going to click on this like I said, there is a few people saying a few other different types of miners that you could use. You could even use Rigel Miner, but like I said, it depends on which one you would prefer to choose. Maybe test between them. Maybe see yourself whether you would prefer to use the Wild Rig or whether you'd prefer to use Rigel. Once the miner has downloaded, what you're going to need to do is create yourself a new folder on your desktop. Name this anything that you like. I'm just going to call it Wild Rig. And then from here, you're just going to drag and drop everything from here, and you're going to drag that into the folder. Now, once you've done that, your folder will look exactly the same as this. So you're going to need to create yourself a new text document. Call this anything you like. I'm going to call it AIPG. 
and then I'm going to open up that text document and then I'm going to take myself back over to our plan or any pool of choice wherever you want to set yourself up and get yourself a minor script from but here I'm copying this from here to make things a little bit simple today so I'm going to copy on that I'm going to take that back to the folder and to the text document paste that into there and press on save as from here I'm going to paste I'm going to type it on dot bat in lowercase press on save and if I have set this up correctly, it should start to successfully mine to the R plant pool. And from here, we should be now mining AIPG on our 3090. Now, like I say, guys, it's very, very important that you do make sure that you set your overclock settings on your graphics cards, okay? Because when it comes to core power, it is a very, very power-hungry algorithm. Now, a lot of people that are not, in, even myself included, I've burnt cables because I have not set my overclocks correctly. So for my RTX 3090, these are the overclock settings I'm going to be going for. The power Power limit here is very very important like I say it's very power hungry and like I say that can be quite cost costly if it does you know break some wires or you know it melts anything or like I say in worst case scenario actually completely breaks uh, you know GPU or something like that so make sure you guys are being as safe and as sound as you can be make sure that you set your settings right make take yourself over to hashrate.no and make sure that you check for your GPU like I say it does have a wide selection but like I say feel free to jump into our discord and chat with the amongst each other and you can figure out the overclock settings if you haven't got any for your gpu so from here let's have a look how we can set this up onto our hive os okay so once we get to our hive os we're going to need to make sure the first thing that we do is add a wallet for the aipg so that we can actually start to mine it so if you type in aipg it should pop up with a coin which it has done there pop in your address pop in the name of the wallet and click on the source like i said um for this it's just a normal wallet doesn't really make a difference and then press on the create now from here what we're going to need to do is we need to take ourselves over to our farm so what we're going to do is i'm going to take myself over to my farm then from here we're going to take ourselves over to the flight sheet section and we're going to create ourselves a new flight sheet so we've already got the top ticker there we're going to click on the wallet we're going to click on the pool, so we're going to press on the configure in the miner. Like I say, we was using wild rig on prior, so we're going to press on wild rig. We're going to set up the miner config from here. We're going to paste in there. We're going to use the wallet and worker name for there. And if we take ourselves back over to the mining pool stats, we can see that there is a pool address just here. So we're going to copy the pool address. Copy that. Take ourselves back over to the Hive OS. Let's paste in the pool URL just there. And I don't think we need any extra things for that. Like I said, we just need to make sure that our overclock settings are set as well for this. Like I said, I'm going to run this on a 2070 on this. And then let's call this AIPG. Press on the create a flight sheet. And let's actually run this flight sheet. And from here, you should now be successfully set up and mining on AIPG on your Hive OS rig. So there we have it, guys. We are now successfully mining on AIPG on our Hive OS and on our Windows setup. Now, let me know down in the comments, are you guys currently mining on this cryptocurrency yourself? You can see here that it is currently the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine on at the moment on your GPUs. So make sure to take advantage of that. Like I say, the cryptocurrencies are changing at all times. Make sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe to the channel to make sure that i keep you guys updated on which is the most profitable coin to mine at the moment we do this for both cpu and for gpu coins at the moment so make sure to hit the subscribe button